Right, so if you're watching this, you can see this. I've probably been able to edit it, so I made it through alive. But... Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I'm out here on my balcony getting a little bit of sun. It's glorious in London at the moment for everybody out there getting their runs done. Kiki, oh, you should not be out here. Kiki's out on the balcony. But anyway, come on Kiki, let's go. Sarah can grab her in a minute because we've got a really fun and exciting video coming out today. We've got so much to chat about, so much that has been going on uh, in our world for the last few weeks. Sarah, can you just grab Kiki off the balcony? Yeah, so stay tuned. <laughs> got an action-packed, exciting video coming up. Sit back, relax, and we'll chat about the leg, diet, and everything we're up to. We'll see you in a bit. Right guys, so yeah, you're joining us. We're just heading out super quick to head to the My supermarket. Right yeah, you're in the right lane. Uh, yes, we're just heading out to the supermarket because we haven't been out for about 10 days now. So the stocks are running really low. So we just need to go and do a reasonably big shop. Sarah is on the car insurance now because I can't drive. So if you're watching this, you can see this. I've probably been able to edit it. So I made it through alive, but no, Sarah's, I'm a, great driver. Sarah's a really good driver, but hasn't driven for what, how long? A few years now? <laughs> Charleston at the moment, home of Charleston Athletic, and of course, what's this like? For 8k into the London Marathon, 4th of October, time will nearly. And I'll be running. So, are you running at London Marathon? Are you going to still run in the reschedule race? Let me know down in the comments because, yeah, we want to do a big shakeout run before the event as well and get as many of you guys out. Right guys, so yeah, we're at the store. I'm gonna say goodbye to Sarah. Bye, see you later. She's going in to do the grocery shopping because yeah, over here in most places, I think in the UK at the moment, it's one person in at a time. So uh, yeah, Sarah's gonna be a little angel as always, go and queue up. And I'm just gonna sit in the car being lazy, but we can have a chat. Do you wanna have a chat? Should we have a little catch up? Right guys, so yeah, we're five and a half weeks post surgery now and as you can see the crutches have gone uh yeah very happy to ditch i didn't ditch them we'll take them back to the hospital for the next person to use give them a really good clean and take them back so yeah super happy making some progress no crutches yeah so just been doing lots of um sort of like mobility work really so i haven't really had any pain like at the site of the fracture since i kind of did it since i came out of hospital really and all the sort of drugs wore off the, a little bit of pain then and it's been really really good so uh yeah been doing lots of mobility exercises i'll put some stuff on the screen now for what i've been doing and um yeah that's really really helped so my main issue at the moment is um yeah i like I'm sort of leaning forward like if i was going to do a salaya stretch uh, something like that i can't really do it in the boot anyway um but i just don't have that any sort of range of motion like i'd normally do again i'll put what i mean up on the screen so it's just trying to get that whole area which is super stiff and super tight kind of going again and it's just going to take a few weeks before i can do that but uh, yeah i really feel like i could go for a run now it wouldn't be very good and it'll be a bit sort of lopsided because that's so stiff so i've just got to wait probably have another week or another two weeks of just working on all of that mobility right i think i'm gonna stay in the car it's a little bit better which is all really exciting it's all healing very well we're back to the hospital tomorrow uh, which is gonna be thursday so i'll take you guys along to see what they've got to say there so yeah i haven't been to hospital in about four weeks um i don't really want to go to the hospital they've got bigger things to be dealing with um so this was just like the last sort of like essential appointment i uh, didn't really didn't feel the need to be going in and troubling them but i just need to go back in probably have a final x-ray but i'll take you guys along for that but as usual guys thank you for all of the message support and everything it's just so so nice um you know i'm really really grateful for all that help and support for the nhs and things have really helped get through this and like with what they're going through at the moment it is just incredible and i can't thank all of the people enough right guys and also i've got a little change that i'm going to be making to kind of with a diet and it, oh sarah's back sarah's back from the store so let's uh get out and see sarah how did it go what was it like what was your experience like of sainsbury's it was, it was good it was good not many people, loads of stuff. Yeah, lots of veg. Lots of veg. Lunch stuff. 
now we can't open the boot. Side door. So yeah, all thank, super thankful for all the supermarket. Super thanks, super thanks to all the supermarket workers out there, enabling yeah the world to carry on. So Right guys, so we're going straight home, being good citizens uh, to unpack all of this food. A lot of frozen food in there, so yeah, we need to get it in the freezer. But quickly, before we have that little chat, what running are you up to at the moment? Because uh, yeah, there's so much controversy of what we should and shouldn't be doing. So many like arguments of people on Twitter. You know, there's no set rules other than going out once a day, but oh, it's a difficult, difficult area. I've seen so many people getting in very heated debates. So what are you? Are you, do you go, are you going out for your long runs? Or have you cut down to an hour max, as some people like to say? What are you doing, Sarah? Still getting lots of runs done? Yeah, like five or six times a week. But, but you've dropped it down shorter, a little bit, haven't you? Yeah, shorter runs. You're a little bit shorter. But yeah, some people going out like they're training for like the last marathon in the world. They're training. Oh, it's, it's a difficult one. It really is a difficult one. But yeah, I, I don't know what I would be doing. Obviously, I can't run. I haven't had to have that difficult debate with myself. I think really, if I was doing, I would probably wouldn't be going more than an hour. I'm not saying I'm not judging you if you do go out for longer than an hour. That's probably what I would do. Uh, but yeah, it's a really tricky one. Oh, oh, we're all right. We're all right. We're Right guys, back at home. Yeah, lovely to be back. The weather outside is still super sunny. So very happy, uh, yeah, with this weather in London. I'd much rather be out running in it, but rather than stuck at home. But say sir, okay sir, what's that? What is that? I don't know. We'll be back running in a few weeks. So anyway, a little change with this whole sort of diet thing. It's not, not really changing my diet, but I'm changing. I'm certainly going to be changing tracking it, which I've never done before. So I really want to track all of the macros that I'm kind of having on a daily basis, really. So yeah, I've got this new app on my phone called Lose It, which I don't like the name. It's really not very good, but it will help track all the calories in, calories out, and what is in those foods as well. And yeah, just try and get that sort of map of proteins, fats, and carbs on my plate. So I've never done anything like this before. I've just <laughs> eaten my food, think that's healthy, that's healthy, probably not so good. But there's lots of this type of stuff I think is gonna reveal really sort of where I'm going wrong. Not necessarily in the type of food that I'm eating, but just like the amounts of some things. Um, and yeah, just trying to really dial that down. So as we kind of get back into training and really sort of perf performance oriented goals and that sort of thing, really to be making sure we're fueling our body absolutely optimally. And yeah, I don't wanna have a negative relationship with food. It's not gonna be like a long-term thing of all this calorie counting, but just trying to work out we should be doing things a little bit better and we'll speak to a few nutritionists out there as well and get really for a proper plan of the amount of calories and the amount of proteins fats and carbs that we need to be having on a daily basis do you track things like that calories in calories out are you one of those sort of people do you find it helps or do you find it's actually not so good and you should just kind of just eat what you feel is healthy and eat to sort of hunger and that sort of thing right ready for a little sneeze kids ready for a little sneeze Sarah, you don't look disgusting. You look lovely. Sarah's uh, been out for a run, having a shower. What's cooking, Sarah? Spaghetti bolognese. Spaghetti bolognese. Got a little bit of a spaghetti. spaghetti, whole wheat spaghetti. Getting that fibre in. And then a nice bub. Oh, that looks nice. Bit of bolognese as well. And a few greens. I'm not surprised. It looks lovely. And over to the other lady of my life, Kiki, who's down here on the floor. You've been in the vlog quite a lot today, haven't you, Keeks, eh? Pretty good. Yeah, so every day I end up <coughs> sitting down here doing my exercises. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing now. Are you gonna sit up there and watch? Yeah, sit up there and watch, and we'll get them done. No cycling today, because uh, yeah, I did quite a big cycle yesterday, so just cycling every other day. Right, exercise time, then dinners. Are you enjoying that?
just like that, it's a dinner time and Sarah has been an absolute angel serving up a massive bowl of spaghetti because I've got 1400 calories on my allowance that I can have for dinner. We won't be having that, we'll be a bit of a calorie deficit today, haven't been having too much. But yeah, we better wrap up the video. Couple of bit of housekeeping. Elsa, thank you so much for your Get Well card that you've sent through. That is super, super sweet. Thank you very, very much. I love running as well. Um, yeah, just super sweet. So thank you so much. Captain Tom doing amazing out there. How much have they raised today? How much did you raise today, Sarah? Six million in five, one day. Yes, yeah, five or six in one day. Yeah, we've put our sponsorships in. Yeah, I'll link that down below. This hundred, well, he's 99, gonna be 100 on his 100th birthday, gonna be doing 100 laps of his garden. He's doing 10 a day to build up to do 100 by the time he gets his 100th birthday. Just incredible raise, eight million so far, amazing. And yeah, what's coming up, Sarah? What's new? 10K plans on the website? Yes. This t-shirt will be on the website soon. And yeah, we'll be at the hospital tomorrow. So follow us along for that in the next episode. And we'll have a chat about the BOSU ball down here that's just arrived in the flat as well. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for along. Thank you for the support. I hope your life and everything is going well in this bizarre time. But we'll be through it soon. And yeah. I'm really looking forward to that and we can get out there and see you all again. So that, that's it guys, so the Patreon supporters, the new people pre-ordering this amazing black hat as well. And yeah, that's it. Goodbye from me, goodbye from Sarah, Bye. goodbye from Kiki in the other room. We'll see you in the next one.